Hey guys, this is Saurabh Nahar here from All About Technologies and a lot of you guys were asking me to do a comparison video between K4 Note and LE TV LE1S. So here it is and let's compare both the devices and let's see which device is better compared to the other one. Now both the devices are priced similarly. There is not a huge difference in terms of price and everybody who is looking to buy a device under 12 to 13,000 rupees, they are looking at the Lenovo K4 Note or the LE TV LE1S. So, without wasting any further time, let's begin. So guys, here I have the Lenovo K4 Note and the LED VLE1S. Now, most of the specs on both the devices are quite similar. Apart from processor and the battery, most of the specs are similar. So if we talk about processor, we have a 1.3 GHz clocked octa-core processor on the Lenovo K4 Note, which is from MediaTek. And you also have a Helio Extend, which is top of the line processor, which is clocked at 2.2 GHz on the LTV LE1S. Now, apart from it, the battery on this K4 Note is 3300 mAh capacity battery, which is sealed, whereas 3000 mAh capacity battery, which is sealed on the LTV LE1S. Now, most of the specs are quite similar, like the front facing 5 megapixel camera on both the devices. We have 5.5 inch full HD display, three touch capacitive buttons at the bottom, 13 megapixel rear camera on both the devices, and we also have fingerprint sensors on both the devices. Moving on to the build quality, the build quality on both the devices is really good. I know that K4 Note is mostly made out of plastic, but in no ways it feels cheap or anything like that. It is also a very well built device. But surely LED VLE1S is the clear winner because of the metal unibody design and those premium looks for the price tag of rupees 11,000. Let's see how good the fingerprint sensors are on both the devices. So as you can see that both the fingerprint sensors are quite fast and they unlock the devices pretty quickly. So there is no issues when it comes to fingerprint sensors and both the fingerprint sensors are quite accurate. You won't really have any issues while unlocking your device with the fingerprints. Now, if we talk about the speaker on both the devices, we have a single speaker at the bottom over here on the LED TV LE1S. And this is not the speaker. We have a microphone, which is the primary microphone over here. And this is the only speaker on the LED TV LE1S, but it is not the best I would say, but it does the job. Whereas on the K4 Note, we have dual front facing speaker and they sound really good. You'll enjoy watching movies, videos, and li even listening to music, you'll enjoy it on the K4 Note. And even with the headphone jack, you will enjoy listening to music uh, when you're using earphones or uh, good quality headphones. Now, other major difference uh, between both the devices is the SD card support. Now, LED VLE1S comes with 32 GB of internal storage, whereas a Lenovo K4 Note comes with 16 GB of internal storage. but the best part is that you can expand storage with SD card on the K4 Note, which is not possible on the LED VLE1S. Now, both the devices have a full HD display, which is a 5.5 inch full HD display, but the display on the LED VLE1S is slightly oversaturated as Dhananjay said, and also it is slightly uh, on the cooler side, I feel. So you can tweak the settings uh, if you go into the display settings, but definitely the display on the K4 Note is slightly better for me, at least I believe. Now let's talk about the battery on both the devices. So we have a 3300 mAh battery on the Lenovo K4 Note, whereas 3000 mAh capacity battery on the LED VLE1S. Both the batteries are sealed and you can't remove the battery and replace them. And if we talk about the battery life, you'll get around four hours of screen on time with the Lenovo K4 Note and even 4.5 hours of screen on time at times, whereas you'll get around three hours of screen on time with the LED VLE1S. So definitely the battery life is better on the K4 Note compared to the LED TV LE1S and you'll have to charge this device LED TV LE1S by the end of the day, which is slightly annoying to me because I want a good battery life on my smartphone. Although it does support fast charging and it comes with a USB type C port, which is a future technology uh, that is included at a budget uh, phone, which is really nice thing done by LED TV LE1S and it is also supporting fast charging, but the battery life is not that great on the LED TV LE1S compared to the K4 Note. Now, if we talk about software on both the devices, LED VLE1S runs on Android 5.0 Lollipop, whereas the K4 Note runs on Android 5.1 Lollipop. Uh, this, this is not the latest version of Android because Android 6.0 is the latest version, but still it does the job. And when it comes to day-to-day -day performance, both the devices are quite good uh, in that. And you will not have any issues when it comes to multitasking on both the devices because both the devices come with 3 GB of RAM. So performance is really good when it comes to day-to-day -day performance. 
But if we talk about gaming performance, I was playing a lot of high-end games on both the devices and you can check out my gaming review on my channel. I'll leave the link in the description down below if you have not seen that. And all the games were working perfectly fine on the LED VLE1S. I was not having any issues whatsoever on uh, the LED VLE1S when it comes to gaming. It is really a good device compared to the K4 Note when it comes to gaming. But you can still play casual games and uh, games like Asphalt 8 on medium settings without any issues on the K4 Note. But still, if you want a device which handles gaming without any issues, LED VLE1S is a great pick. Now, if we talk about the camera on both the devices, both the devices have 13 and 5 megapixel camera. But I feel the camera that is on the K4 Note is better compared to the LED VLE1S. At least front facing camera is much better compared to the uh, LED VLE1S on the K4 Note. And you'll really enjoy taking selfies and stuff like that. And even the rear facing camera is slightly better on the K4 Note, I feel. And that is just my opinion. I will be coming up with a dedicated camera comparison between both the devices if you want. But still, in my opinion, the cameras on the K4 Note are slightly better compared to the LED VLE1S. If we talk about the call quality on both the devices, call quality is really good on both the devices and you won't really have any issues like call drops and anything like that. So even call quality is good on both the devices. So guys, here is my final verdict. Which device should you pick? K4 Note or the LED VLE1S? Now, if we talk about K4 Note, K4 Note is really good when it comes to multimedia experience like watching videos, watching movies, listening to song, listening to songs via headphone jack. And even the battery life is really good on the K4 Note. Also, the cameras are better compared to the LED VLE1S on the K4 Note. So if you're looking for a smartphone that can do very well in all those departments, you should definitely go with the K4 Note. Whereas if you want a device which can handle gaming very well, you should go with the LED VLE1S. And also day-to-day -day performance is really good on both the devices. But even uh, performance is really good on the LED VLE1S. And also the build quality is quite good and quite premium for the price tag of 11,000 rupees. So that was my final verdict on both the devices. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. It will help me a lot. Also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos and comparisons in the future. I will be coming up with a lot of comparisons in the future and also more, uh, a lot of reviews in the future. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, Snapchat. All the links will be in the description down below. And if you want to buy these devices, I'll leave all the links in the description down below. Use my link. It will help out the channel. And this is Saurabh Nahari from All Technologies. Thank you guys for watching.